Uh, hello, my name is Sujay Cook and I am presenting the Integrated Curriculum Model or ICM for the subject of Curriculum for Academically Advanced Students and the model I'll be presenting uh, is was first introduced by Joyce Van Tassel Basker in 1986 and uh, she uh, discovered or made the observation that gifted students um, learnt exponentially um, in subjects if they undertook subjects based on critical higher order thinking and in the language arts which involved uh, accelerated curriculum at greater depth and were more complex and the ICM uh, had two key influences the first Lev Vygotsky the Russian psychologist who introduced uh, social constructivism and how we learn is through uh, our social uh, experiences and also the notion of the zone of proximal development which essentially uh, explains that each um, learner has a certain understanding or a cognitive function a level of functionality like um, a sphere and through a teacher presenting tasks that are and information that is just outside the current level of uh, ability or understanding uh, the le uh, through the uh, teacher scaffolding the learner can actually meet that new um, level of understanding from the new information provided and that's how their um, their cognitive, cognitive uh, functionality and abilities grow like a blowing up a balloon uh, the other influence was Mihai Chikset Mihai, and in 1991 he introduced the notion of flow, or otherwise referred to as deep work, and which is where the learner enters a state of of focus, uh, uh, where wherein uh, nothing else really, uh, no external influences has any influence or consideration, even the concept of self and time become distorted uh, when in a state of flow. Uh, key elements of the ICM, um, emphasizing advanced content and knowledge that frames discipline of study, uh, providing higher order thinking and processing, and organizing learning experiences around uh, major issues, themes, and ideas that help uh, understand how um, or uh, how to abstract how uh, things work in the world, uh, very similar to phenomenology. Um, and there's a simplistic um, circular model of how the three uh, tripa tripartite uh, ingredients intercept, um, and specifically there is a mastery dimension um, and the strategies include content acceleration, deliberate instructional approach, and curriculum compacting, the process product dimension, critical thinking skills, and it is student-centered and hands-on, and inquiry-based learning, and the uh, concept dimension includes, um, is basically higher order abstraction, and I, I use the word there, jigsaw, uh, as a metaphor um, in which, uh, the student learns under the umbrella of uh, a particular theme um, the, the all the ingredients or elements uh, that go into making up that jigsaw all the little pieces when they fit together make a coherent jigsaw when viewed from um, a higher plane uh, referred to as as chunking uh, students learn how to chunk information and then when they put the chunks together uh, it forms a whole um, bigger uh, picture so the chunks represent um, the smaller parts of a composite whole uh, I won't go through the evidence from the text because I won't have time but it's all there um, needless to say it does uh, the empirical evidence does support uh, comprehensively the, um, the that the effective um, nature of the ICM 
um, particularly uh, down the bottom there when um, teacher, teachers are, are involved in intervention and training. Um, so it's not just a student centered, uh, it also uh, needs um, high order and critical thinking from, from, from superior teachers in, from that respect. Other considerations, is it resource intensive, uh, regular classroom uh, or whole school approach? Uh, I think uh, no. I think it depends on the nature or the skill set and uh, of the teacher themselves in being able to create uh, for each student in their class, um, being able to read and understand each student and being able to uh, structure uh, learning experiences within that particular child's zone of proximal development um, and like like it says there who is the best teacher of gifted and able students um, and that's where you need um, superior teachers teachers with higher uh, order uh, abilities themselves and I would add that the relational approach to teaching um, getting to know your students um, better uh, as best as possible uh, is very effective in uh, being able to um, delineate exactly where each child um, how to best challenge the, the, the student and I, I use the metaphor uh, as well as the jigsaw as uh, each student is a director of a movie and in order to understand how a movie works when putting a, uh, making a movie, um, each small chunk of information is uh, a crew member. And so in order to make a movie, you need to chunk together in, uh, knowledge on camera, sound, lighting, script writing, uh, acting and editing and other post-production um, involvements. And then the student then chunks all those pieces, composite pieces together uh, and being able to abstract how to do it in order to make uh, the complete movie. And in conclusion, um, effectively what uh, the teacher is trying to, um, to enable in gifted children is to engage them in, within their own zone of proximal development and what this does is a very important ingredient in cognitive uh, in expanding cognitive functionality uh, and um, achieving neurogenesis which is uh, the growth in the brain and in conjunction with exercise uh, diet and sleep um, that is that is achieved thank you